As you can see, the brake fluid is super dirty. I can't even see the bottom of the master cylinder. So my plan is to flush the brake system in the near future, but in the meantime, I am going to remove some of the dirty fluid out of the reservoir and replace it with fresh DOT brake fluid. That is going to allow the system to have some clean fluid in it and that will help make the flushing process faster. So I am going to use a dollar store turkey baster to remove some of the old brake fluid out of the master cylinder. And even though the, the fluid appears to be okay, it is actually pretty dirty. By the way, the air bubbles you see have absolutely no negative effect on the brake system as they will not go into the lines. As a side note, I prefer to leave some brake fluid in the reservoir just in case I get distracted and for whatever reason I pump the brake pedal. That's how air can get into the system. The process I'm showing you will not do that and you could safely remove most of the fluid from the master cylinder. Having said that, this is not a flushing of the brake system. I'm just replacing some of the fluid. So this is how much of the old fluid is left in the front reservoir. This is a dual master cylinder, so next I will remove some of the old fluid from the rear brake fluid reservoir. So this is the sample what I removed out of the master cylinder just to give you an idea what it looks like and fresh brake fluid is supposed to look like that. So if yours is leaning toward this kind of dark brown color it's time to um, to get some of the fresh clean stuff and what I did is I, I bought uh, a few bottles of this um, DOT3 and um, I'm going to provide a link in case you want to buy the same uh, product but you can find this stuff at any auto parts store or Walmart they carry this stuff different sizes actually and it's not very expensive now it says 50,000 mile fluid life I don't think so at least not for my car so anyway I'm gonna re uh, replenish the fluid and uh, we'll do that next and by the way I keep like I think I, I mentioned in another video these empty bottles and I use them to recycle the um, different fluids. I take them to the county recycling center, which is the right thing to do, I believe. And I always tell them to uh, save me the, the containers because I can keep using them. So anyway, I wanted to mention that. It's also a good idea to protect the uh, paint. So anyway, let's get this start it and you do not want to overfill that uh, reservoir it's kind of hard to see here but um, I think I'm gonna go a little, add a little more. I think that's plenty. And uh, you can already see it's so much cleaner. And again, this is just one way of 
getting rid of some of the old stuff, eventually this cleaner fluid is supposed to reach the calipers. So that's, um, that's always a good thing. But anyway, let me uh, get the cover ready and uh, we'll finish this up. I always forget that I have these great LED flashlights. So anyway, I think that gives you a good shot of the inside of the master cylinder. It's looking a lot better already. I'm gonna use some of this mother's polish to clean this one up a little bit. This cover always gets stains and stuff. But I'm gonna clean it up and I'll show you the difference. And by the way, you can remove this rubber piece carefully from the cover and you can really detail it a lot better and also clean the inside and the other side of the uh, of this rubber piece it's nice to keep it clean okay so it is ready to go so next we're gonna get it installed here and we're gonna of course lock the cab in place and then in a, in a few days or weeks I'm gonna do a gravity uh, both flushing and bleed, bleeding of the of the brake system all four calipers and uh, I'll make a video about that. But in the meantime, I just want to show you this little kind of quick way to uh, to add some, some fresh fluid and at the same time remove some of the old stuff. And we're done. So I hope this is somewhat helpful to you if you need to uh, do some maintenance like that you don't want to go through the whole process which is of course a lot more involved of flushing and uh, bleeding the brakes but uh, and again I'll have a video on how to do that but anyway that's it for now thank you for watching and I'll see you next time take care bye